Hey boys and girls, it's Mrs. Walker. For our lesson today, we're going to talk about how we can identify and use patterns to help us multiply. So our learning goal for today says, I can identify and use patterns to multiply. And specifically, we're going to be focusing on multiplying with units of 9. Alright, so let's start by skip counting by 9s. So here we have 9, and I'm going to do this vertically. So go ahead and count with me as we go through. So 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 63, 72, 81, 90. All right, so let's look here in the tens place. What pattern do you notice? Just the digits in the tens place in that red box. What do you notice, friends? Yeah, the tens place increases by one. So if you're starting at the top and you're going down, it increases by one. If you're starting at the bottom, it's going to decrease by one. Oh, mind is blown. That's amazing. All right, so let's look at the ones place. What pattern do you notice there? Yeah, the ones place decreases by one. Huh. Mind blown again, that's pretty amazing. So we're looking at patterns on how we can use that to help us multiply. So let's apply the pattern we just learned. So I'm gonna start in the ones place, and I'm gonna start with nine, and I'm gonna count down. So nine until I get to zero. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Now I'm gonna start in the tens place, I'm actually gonna start at the bottom this time. So my number is going to decrease each time as well. So nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Oh, wait a minute, that looks funny, doesn't it? Zero, nine, is that how we write the number nine? No, we sure don't, so I can take away that zero, but it's like an imaginary zero for when we're using this strategy. So I'm gonna fill in my multiplication facts. So nine times one equals nine, nine times two equals 18, nine times three equals 27, and then so on until you get to nine times 10 equals 90. Okay, so what pattern do we notice here? If you look just at the one and the eight, what do you notice? Hmm, it's a little tricky, right? You might not notice anything right away. You're like, ah, oh, there's a one and an eight. But what about if I look at three and six, 36? What happens, let's go back to this one. What happens if I have 18 and I add those digits together to find the sum? So one plus eight, what does that equal? Yeah, nine. Now let's go to this one, 36. If I add those digits together, three plus six, what does that equal? Yeah, nine. So if you add the digits, you always get nine. Oh, look at that. So if you're looking at your multiplication facts and you say, let's say I did nine times five and I got 45. If I add those numbers, those digits together, I should get nine. If I don't get nine when I add the digits, Oh, that means whoopsie daisies, I made a mistake. So friends, I don't know about you, but that blows my mind again. What a cool strategy to be able to check your work with when you're multiplying by nines. If you add those two digits together and they don't equal nine, you multiplied incorrectly. But if you add those two digits together and they do equal nine, then you nailed it. You multiplied by nines correctly. That's pretty amazing. All right, so let's look at 54. So we have five plus four, does that equal nine? Yeah, it sure does. What about seven plus two? Absolutely, seven plus two equals nine. What about nine plus zero? Does that equal nine? Yeah, it sure does. That's a pretty easy one, right? All right, so that's pretty awesome. Okay, so let's bring back in our facts again. Here's another strategy. This is so cool, by the way. So if I have my number that I'm multiplying by, so let's say I'm multiplying by two, in the tens place of the product is going to be one less. So if I have two that I'm multiplying, multiplying by, one less is one. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, so whatever you, your unit, whatever unit you are multiplying nine by, the tens place is always going to be one less. So let's look here. So if we have three, one less than three is two. So the two goes in the tens place. So if we're multiplying by four, one less than four is three, and that's what goes in the tens place. 
Oh, that's pretty amazing. Okay, let's jump down to eight. So one less than eight is seven. Oh, so wait a minute, friends. So if I can figure out just by looking at those factors, so like nine times eight, one less than eight is seven. And if I know the tens place, I just have to figure out what number plus seven makes nine. And then I know what nine times eight equals. So I know that seven plus two equals nine. So 72 equals nine times eight. I don't know about you guys, but that one I think blows my mind even more. That's pretty awesome. All right, so let's try these awesome strategies. So we have nine times six. Remember, we're gonna do one less, which is five. And I know that five plus what equals nine. So what is that, friends? Five plus what equals nine? Yeah, four. So I'm gonna put my four in the ones place. So nine times six equals 54. Gosh, that's amazing. All right, so let's look at nine times eight. Oh, you're it. So go ahead and do one less and then find what you add to that to make nine. And then you have your answer for nine times eight. So go ahead and pause the video, try it, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, make sure to click pause if you need more time. Otherwise, here we go. So I know that one less than eight is seven. And I know that seven plus what? equals nine. What is it, friends? Help me out. Yeah, seven plus two. So 72. Nine times eight equals 72. Whew. That's amazing. Mind blown again, friends. Okay, so let's do some skip counting with nines. This is a cool another strategy that you guys can learn. So really, we've really kind of learned three strategies already so far. We can look at the ones place and the tens place. That's kind of combined as one strategy. We've learned about how you can... Um, combine the two digits together to be able to find this, uh, the product. And now we're talking, or we learned about one less than tens place and then add those digits to make nine. Now we're gonna skip count with nines. Okay, so we're gonna do this strategy called add 10 minus one. Hmm, add 10 minus one. Okay, well, you know, I can add 10 and I can subtract one, right? Okay, so let's model how that's gonna look. So I'm gonna start with nine. I'm gonna add 10. So friends, what's nine plus 10? Yeah, it's 19, right? Those are the friendly numbers when they add and end in zero. So now I add in my 10, now I have to subtract one. So what's 19 minus one? 18, boom. That's the next number as we're skip counting. Okay, so let's keep going. So we have 18, we're gonna add 10. So what's 18 plus 10? Yeah, 28, your ones is gonna stay the same. Now, oh, we added 10. We gotta subtract one now. So what's 28 minus one? 27, awesome. Okay, so let's go to the next one. 27 plus 10 equals 37, minus one equals 36. Oh my gosh, I don't know about you guys, but this is amazing. Okay, let's keep going. 36 plus 10 is 46, minus one, is 45. Oh, amazing. All right, why don't you guys go ahead and pause the video, try this one, 45. So add 10 and then subtract one. And what number do you get? And click play when you're ready to share together. All right, friends, so I had 45 plus 10, 55. Minus one, 54. Oh, amazing. All right, so we're at 54. Add 10, 64, minus one, 63. All right, you guys go ahead and try and finish in the next three numbers using the plus 10 minus one strategy. You can write it down on your dry erase board and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, make sure to pause if you need more time. Otherwise, here we go. So we have 63 plus 10, 73 minus one, 72. 72 plus 10 equals 82, minus one equals 81. 81 plus 10 equals 91, minus one equals 90. Did you guys get those two? Awesome. 
mind is blown. We have learned so many strategies to be able to help us today with our multiplying by nines. So you guys did an awesome job with that and using those strategies to solve with facts of nine. Please head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete for your independent practice. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to help. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye, friends.